My brain is hurting. It is getting too big for my cranium. I'm letting off brain gas. Ask me questions now. Uh, OK, uh, quick fire round. Yes. Uh, your turn. Um, let's put some time on the clock and go. Right. From Amy, what is the Queen having for tea tonight? Uh, pomegranates. <laughs> yes, I think that might be right. Yeah. I haven't seen the menu, but I reckon. One from Kari. Dan, where can I get an old lady from? Uh, the Help the Aged charity shops. 10p, 20p if you want a bag. <laughs> One from Ellis in Anglesey. If monkeys eat bananas, what eats pomegranates? The Queen! <laughs> Have you been looking at these? Pure coincidence. That's unbelievable. One here from Matthew. What time does the train arrive? Oh, 3.42. Ah, unfortunately, British Rail. It's four minutes late, 3.46. Bless you, British Rail. Uh, go on here from, anon uh, from Anonymous. Is my brother actually a girl? Yes. You knew that even made up who this is from. Water, Impressive. One here from Erin. Would Jeff rather kiss an antelope or kiss an elephant? Judging by last weekend, I'd have to say elephant, Jeff. Oh, that's mean. But true. But true. All right, go on here from James H. 12 in Burton. Who would win a fight, you two or Ian and Hacker? Oh, come on, us two. One of them's got weedy little arms fur and you can't understand what it says. The other's a dog. <laughs> hey, clever. <laughs> One here from Ann Moss. Hey, boys. Hey. Would you ever kiss another boy for $1,029? Interesting. <laughs> $1,029, please. I didn't ask you to do Come that. Come on, them's the rules. I'm, uh, that's not... Thank goodness, time's up. Um, I'm, 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 st I'm scarred, I'll Beats be honest. Beats an elephant, Jeff. Beats an elephant. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, I can quite definitely say that after that, you got one point. You got as many points as you like. Two points! Wow, very impressive. I love cake. All right, so keep those questions coming in to cbbc at bbc.co.uk. And here's Tracy Beaker. <laughs> All right, before Tracy Beaker, I got an amazing two points and ate a cake. Let's see if Jeff can do better. Are you I, ready, Jeff? I think I might. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's Here go. Here we go with your quick fire round. Start the clock. This is from Catherine in Ireland. If you were to describe your foot as food, what would it be? <laughs> Probably uh, an overripe Stilton. Mm, I can smell it from here. Yeah, not nice, though. So lovely with crackers, though. <laughs> OK, this is from Izzy. Do sheep count as humans? I'm oh, sorry, I'll start again. This is from Izzy. Do sheep count humans when they get, get to sleep? Oh, they can't get to sleep. Yeah. Uh, they would, but they're really bad at maths, uh, and they can only count up to one on each hoof. All oh, right, OK. One, this is from one, Natasha. One. Will flying bat monkeys ever take over our universe? Uh, they actually did, and they ruled the universe in the 17th and 18th centuries. What happened to them? <laughs> Just as any empire, they, they fell. Victims of their own greed. <laughs> okay. Nothing from the Romans. This one's from Laura. <laughs> if you wanted to love someone and there was only a male pig on this earth, would you love him? Yes, he would be my special little boar. I refer us again back to last weekend, Jeff. <laughs> OK. This one's from Isabel from Northern Ireland. Jeff, how many bananas do you own? Uh, I did have six until Dan got his hands on them. Now I owe him three. Right. <laughs> this one's from Zoe Ann. Would you ever kiss an elephant for money? <laughs> The last weekend? We are never going back to that zoo, are no. we? You were an animal, Jeff. <laughs> poor, poor Jumbo. <laughs> All right, this one's from Helen. Would you rather pick your nose and eat your bogeys or eat your toenails? I have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Which would you rather do? How can I choose between the two? Oh, lucky. We'll go into that one later. Well, Jeff, I've yep. totaled up the points. You got one. Um, I made you a lovely cake. Oh, thanks very much. So, how many points do I have now? One. One, of course. Thanks, Dan. Well, keep sending in your questions to us here at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Dan, tell them what's on next. Water Park. No, no, what was that? <laughs> no, no, it's not Tracy Beaker. That was on. It's no. Hotel Trouble. You haven't got a clue. <laughs> Hi, it's CBBC. It's Wednesday. It's Ask a Stupid Question Day. And I've hit my quarter to six lull. I don't want to answer any Questions. Well then, don't you worry, my little Tinkerbell, because not only have I got my game show jacket, my over-the-top game show tan, and my fabulous, glamorous dolly bird, Gabrielle de Sands, right over here, I've also got and brought back the Random Answer Generator! whoop de doo All right, Jeff. Gabriella, if you'd like to put some Random Answer balls into the generator, we can get going. Straight inside, there they go. Oh, the generator is loaded, Jeff, so ask me some questions. I barely contain myself. All right, go on here from Phoebe who asks, why don't you use a hula hoop to play golf? Good question. Let's see what the generator has to say. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. OK, let's have a look. So, why don't you use a hula hoop to play golf? Because actions speak louder than words unless you speak really, really loud. <laughs> There's the reason. Gabriella, does it fly? 
Cut the flies! All right, I really like that answer. OK, got one here from Anonymous. Why is it called a drive through when you have to stop? It's a good question. Let's see what the random answer generator has to say. Here we go. Four, three, Let's have a look, shall we? Here so, we go. So, why is it called a drive through when you have to stop? Because windows always win, otherwise they would be called lose dose. <laughs> there we go. Gabriella does it fly. No! <laughs> the answer didn't quite fly. Thanks, Gabriella. OK, finally got one here. You're beautiful. Which, I love you. From Caitlin. Dear Dan and Jeff, why is Blue Peter called Blue Peter? It's a good question. Let's see what the random answer generator has to say. Here we go. Four, three, two, All right, let's get this question out. Here we so, are. So, why is Blue Peter called Blue Peter? Because if a pit is not bottomless, then there is something... someone's bottom down there. Oh, I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> see if it flies. Good old Blue Peter makes sense. <laughs> It flies and hits. All right, we need more questions from you. Please send them into this here at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Hopefully we'll have got rid of this random answer generator the and the random person. Next up, it is Animals at Work. Why is it? Um, let's just run them. CBBC.